Hey, hey, Giovanni! Welcome back to another part of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last part, we found out the password to this locked door, which is Hey, Giovanni! In this part, I guess we can open the door and deactivate the radio signal. The password is Hey, Giovanni! Murkrow screamed the password, mimicking the voice of Petril. The voice recognition system unlocked the door. And then just runs off. So hey, this looks pretty easy. We can just walk right in here and- What? Hold it right there. We can't let a brat like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it less than you see. So it's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if the two of us fight at the same time, you'll have no chance of winning, don't you agree? <laughs> Sorry, baby, now get ready to be thrashed. Hold it! OBJECTION! A two-on-two -two battle? That is so unfair! Typical of Team Rocket to be so sneaky, allow me to join the battle. What? You had an accomplice? Where's your sense of dignity? Since when has Team Rocket ever cared of dignity? As interim of... As interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. And this is one of the few battles where you are pretty much guaranteed to win. Ariana is way higher level than that grunt, as you can see. And I forgot to switch my Pokemon around, but whatever. Ariana... Well, I don't want to give anything away. Because it really goes into the backstory of some of the characters. But yeah, BOOM! Lance's Dragonite, level 40! Pretty much able to one-hit KO anything that you're facing against. Well, that was a bad switch. Wow, that did nothing. There's the Murkrow that just gave us the password. Hey, Giovanni! Really need to pick a voice and stick with it. Uh, we can pretty much take care of the weaker Pokemon ourselves, cause Lance will be, like I said, he'll be able to KO pretty much anything else. Shit! I do not think. I do not think at all. Uh, go Eevee. Now I just hope he targeted Murkrow. Oh, come on! That was like a 5% chance to miss. Why is she targeting me? Lance is the bigger threat! Seriously, I'm like no threat to her at all. And yet she's targeting me. I don't understand your logic there, Ariana. I really don't. And would you stop using Fly Lance? Just use Thunder or something. Please, Lance, I really hope you targeted Murkrow, because I really don't feel like wasting uh, super potions every turn. Come on. And it targeted Drowsy, go figure. I don't want you to target something that isn't a threat! Gotta love this AI. And a crit. So there goes Eevee's friendship. At this rate, it's never gonna evolve. Oh, now you go for Murkrow! Thanks a lot, Lance! You didn't notice I was having troubles with that Murkrow three turns ago? More like five turns now? Gee, thanks, Lance. You're a real help.
Seriously, why don't you just go for one of your dragon moves? Like, I don't know, Dragon Claw, Outrage, even Dragon Breath would be better. Thank you, AI. And I know he's gonna go for fly again, cause... AIs always have this weird thing about going for the super effective move, even if that is weaker than another option they could do. <sighs> Fucking Lance! Yeah, thanks a lot for your help, Lance. I pro See, look at this shit! I could probably do better myself! Lance is just being retarded. Just go for a fucking dragon move! Fuck this, I'm speeding it up. I don't even care that I accidentally picked Dragonize to target for that one. For fuck's sake, Lance, just attack it! Thank you! Fuck! <sighs> if only Lance always failed like that later on. But that's fine, the broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now, we have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> oh come on, Lance! You could have easily helped us out. You were doing nothing. <sighs> you know, Lance, you could just have Dragonite use Hyper Beam on that generator. Or better yet, he could have Hyper Beamed the door down. How about that? Thanks for the plot hole, Nintendo. So yeah, in order to do this fairly, we have to KO the Electrode. Yeah, thanks for that, Lance. Lost two Pokemon unnecessarily because of your stupidity. Now I'm probably gonna fail against these Electro, knowing my luck. Ah, <sighs> I hate you, Lance. Might as well not even bother reviving shit. Great, Screech. You know what that means, I'm gonna die. Unless he just uses Screech twice. And one more Electrode. Now you could catch these, but I really don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. Great! Roll out! It's just what I need. Now that we've KO'd all the electrode, the generator has stopped working. Wow, it actually took him longer to KO the electrode. That is sad. The Oz signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. Shut the fuck up. Oh yeah, HMO5. That's, uh, Whirlpool. We're gonna need that. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? BREAKING THE FOURTH WALL! I see, you know you're right. Eh, blah, blah, shut up and let me get to gameplay. Really don't feel like putting up with Lance's bullshit after that battle. 
And this is where that teleporter comes in handy, so you don't have to walk through all that again. So yes, my- Oh goody, Lyra, what does she have to say this time? I DID THAT THE f <sighs> Lyra, you're even dumber than Lance! Anyways, now that we've gotten that whole Team Rocket hideout thing out of the way, we can actually go to the gym here. So we can actually progress with the game instead of the storyline, because the storyline is actually getting on my nerves right now. Alright, Eric Ross, you go. Because this, as soon as we enter, you'll find it's an Ice-type gym. And if you have a Fire or a Fighting-type Pokémon, you're good to go. Especially if you have both. To get the price, our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. You don't have to think that much. Oh goody, Jinx. That's an Ice Psychic-type, so I don't want to stay in on that. Fake tears, okay. Mean look. That's not gonna do you any good at all. This is the stupidity hour, everyone. Where every trainer in the game acts like a total retard. Swinub! We'll be seeing that things evolve form soon. And another swine up. What I never understood is that how those things are ground ice. I just don't get that at all. I really don't. Push that ice block there, slide up here. And last room already, I think. At least before the gym leader. Are you shivering? Are you scared to fight? Uh, it's frozen solid in the fucking room! What do you think? Seal is not an ice type, but it's evolved form is, so that's why that's here. There is the evolved form, Dugong. Water ice type. Or Seal is just a water type. Yeah, like I really planned on going for any other move. These AIs just suck. Uh, go Eevee. Gotta make up for that friendship I lost with Eevee because of Lance's fucking stupidity. Great, rest. Fuck this. Going out the Flaffy. Gym leader is up there. Check out my parallel turn! I don't care for skiing at all, so I don't even know what you're talking about. Great, another resting dugong. Yep. Hooray for repetition. You made me wipe out. Whatever. I know Price is secret. Yeah, and I really don't care. Another water type that evolves to be an ice type. And Ice Shard, Big Whoop. Cloister! Now I can easily take this out with Eevee because Shelter and Cloister's special defense is almost non-existent. 
Okay, that did a lot less than I was hoping. And how is that faster than me? You know what, I'm not gonna take the chance of that, because Cloyster's defense is really high. So I'm just gonna Shadow Ball again. Oh, now, we'll, uh, now I'm slow. Uh, faster. Make up your mind, game. Make up your fucking mind. And electrocution time. And Price's secret is... Wow, I really don't care. Uh... You know what, that'll pretty much do it. So I'm actually gonna save state here, so I don't fuck up or glitch or whatever. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Yep, he has been training Pokemon since before we were born. And yet his Pokemon are only like level 20 something. Oh my bad, level 30! Yeah, training Pokemon for 10 years, and they're only level 30. That is really sad. So I've been training these Pokemon for only a few months. And in reality, it's only been a few hours of gameplay. And they're already almost as strong as your Pokemon, so... You're pathetic, Price. You really are. Hail, the most... Useless weather in the game. All it does is damage non-ice type Pokemon. Oh, and the two abilities that go with Hail. Snow Cloak and Ice Body. Snow Cloak raises your evasion by one point, or whatever the term is. Oh goody, he's going out to his main Pokemon, Pyloswine. And then Ice Body restores a Pokemon's HP whenever Hail is up. Yeah, Piloswine. Uh, this could actually be somewhat challenging, so I'm gonna go out to Lapras. Because Ice won't do shit to Lapras, and it doesn't really have any good ground attacks. Oh yeah, another use for Hail. It makes Blizzard 100% accurate. Go ahead and surf it. Mud Bomb! 80% accuracy and it has a chance of lowering your opponent's accuracy. <sighs> this is a boring gym battle because price literally contributes nothing to the game other than your 7th badge. Price literally does nothing throughout the whole game. So, yeah. Pretty sad, really. Oh great, a Citrus Bear! That's just what I needed to see. Lapras has shit accuracy right now, so I'm gonna have to switch. And he just set up Hail again. I hate this part of the game so much. Will it die? Of course not. And you know what happens when a gym leader's Pokemon gets to red health, right? Other than speed up a Hyper Potion. Hey, a crit. I was expecting the whole stall war right there. Now he's going to go out to his seal again. So I guess I can go out to Eevee, since it's mostly dead already. Shut 
Shadow Ball, please somehow kill. Son of a bitch. That's why I sent out Flaffy, because of that fucking rest! Okay, Flaffy, get out there and electrocute it, just like everything else you've been doing throughout the whole game. Snore? Seriously? I fail against every single gym leader! First it was Faulkner with getting credited to death, then Bugsy getting credited to death, then Whitney I just completely failed at, Morty was that mean look fail, Chuck was ridiculously high leveled, the only one I haven't failed against so far is fucking Jasmine. You are quite the trainer. Why don't you shut the fuck up? So I've about had it with failing right now. You know what? Go ahead and kill Heracross. Because I'm just going to go to Golbat and have it kill you. Yeah, I really don't care what you have to say there, buddy. FIRST! <laughs> Fucking A! Okay, I have had it with this game and me failing. Okay, paralysis. Now let's get some confusion so we can get parafusion. That way it has like. <laughs> this game, man! I get Parafusion up, and then it gets a fucking rest in. Thanks a lot, game. Now I'm just failing to kill this fucker. I already, you piece of shit! <sighs> it's the Let's Play Curse, I tell you. It's the Let's Play Curse. FINALLY! God damn! After so much fail in one episode, I finally beat the seventh gym leader. Oh god! I don't even care what you have to say. Just hello, Golbat's evolving. Golbat is evolving, yes. Finally, something that isn't failure. Golbat has evolved into Crobat. Now if only Eevee could evolve. I already gave you the chance to learn Air Cutter, I don't care for Air Cutter. Yeah, I really don't care about what you have to say, Price. It's already a 25 minute video, I don't need it to be any longer than it needs to be. And I also don't care about your stupid TM that I'm never going to use. Yeah, hail, blah blah blah, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to end this video already. Cause the longer this video goes on, the more I'm gonna fail. I fucking had it with a fail today. And as soon as we walk out of the gym, we're gonna get interrupted by Professor Elm.
How are things going? I call it because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They are talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. And if we go to the radio... Testing, one, two, three, we're the amazing Team Rocket. It's been three years, but we've rebuilt the team and restructured. We're proud to announce that we're back. Giovanni, can you hear this? We finally did it! What can the boss be, I wonder? I wonder if he heard this announcement. Yep, great news. Right after a bunch of fail. So, you know where we're going to have to go next. Goldenrod City, because that's where the radio tower is. And guess what? That's going to take up like another two or three videos. So, I guess next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we will infiltrate the radio tower. See you guys then.